Hi, welcome to Home Farm. Today we're going to be trying out and reviewing these Alpha Trace Wellington boots from Dickamar. So the very nice team at Dickamar reached out to us yeah. and asked us if they could send us a couple of boots for, to try. We've never tried Dickamar no, boots before. We haven't. They asked us to choose um, some boots that we wanted. Mm -hmm. We went onto their website. They seem to have, I would say it was a good range. I wouldn't say it was like thousands of boots, which I think is much better when yeah. a company has um, kind of, you know, maybe 10 different sets of boots in different categories. Yeah. I feel that that makes them more of a serious mm -hmm. um, manufacturer. And they've got a range of boots. They've got entry level boots. They've got mid range boots. I think that these are kind of towards the, the, the higher end of, of boots. Yeah. Uh, we chose something that was agricultural. Uh, in nature so and basically gardening. for an agricultural and gardening setting yeah uh, because that makes sense for us because we do spend an awful lot of time out in our field yeah uh, in the winter uh, when it is cold when it is slippery it is sludgy uh, and you need a wellington boot that you can trust when you're actually walking around yeah definitely that, that's safe to it to use yeah. and also it's going to give me warmth um, yeah, I get true. cold really quickly, especially my extremities, like my hands and my feet. Yeah. And uh, you know, here we are in Wales in yeah. the UK. And so we do get some pretty heavy winters mm -hmm. and uh, they can get really bitter and icy cold. So for me, um, I really need a boot that's going to offer me a level of insulation yeah. and um, warmth in those winter months. So even though it is the summer, mm -hmm. we could have chosen a kind of more of a summer boot. Yeah. Um, but I just felt like the window for us in, in left in the summer, yeah. wouldn't have been very long so I kind of wanted something that was more heavy and wintry mm. so that it w I would get a longer wear out of it Definitely. for the year and these are they've got an awful lot of things that it says it's slip yeah. resistant um, energy absorbing waterproof I would hope so insulated from the cold and PU polyurethane put bed they're supposed you. to have a really good tread so let's get them open and have a look at them uh -huh. made in Portugal um, so they really are supposed to be a, a really nice quality they feel a really nice quality they, do, they feel good and um, they feel like a really heavy duty boot but they are I would say yeah I would say it's light that's a lightweight boot it's yeah they look pretty heavy but they they're not heavy they're not light they're just down the middle When it comes to Wellington boots, I like to have a large hole at the top. Uh, this certainly has got one, so it's really easy to slip your foot in and to get your foot out. We've been using our Dikamar Alpha Trace boots now for the past couple of months. Uh, I've been quite impressed with them. I think they're durable, they're well made, they're light. Uh, what did you think? Yeah, I really like them. I've really enjoyed them and I'm, re I'm really glad that, um, that Dikamar have been kind enough to send them to us because uh, yeah. I've been really impressed with them. They are a polyurethane, uh -huh. so PU. Um, it does feel like rubber. It does not feel like plastic or anything else. It mm -hmm. does feel like a soft rubber. Um, but that's really, really been very good because as you can see, it's been really pliable. I mean, they're super kind of like, they're the bendiest yeah. Wellington boots I've, we've ever had. They're uh -huh. not rigid, which 
when you're gardening and stuff and going into like all different kind of positions is really important, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, I mean, I, I tend to find that uh, I squat quite a lot and it puts a lot of pressure on, on the back portion of the actual boot. Yeah. But because this is quite flexible, as you said, I just can't see this cracking for, you know, at all. Uh, but I suppose, you know, you can never say never yeah yeah i mean it's just a matter of seeing the time but so far they've been really really good they feel really nice and durable um i've really appreciated the tread i mean yeah. the tread i mean so so thick i mean yeah literally yeah. that's my finger it's it's really thick tread mm -hmm. and i've really appreciated that because you know for us we're not suburban gardeners we are country um, gardeners so. so we are in all different types of weather we're either on kind of you know, steep gradients um, we're in on kind of pond on the banks of ponds yeah um, where really we do go into some crazy positions in crazy areas mm -hmm. and we do need the safety of a really dense tread to keep us in place um, so this I found has been really good we have been testing these in June or July um, it's currently well we're in a, currently in a heat wave <laughs> in the UK so um, it was like 32.8 celsius here the other day which you know in the uk we have no yeah. ac no air conditioning so that means it has been absolutely roasting yeah. um so i would definitely say these are not a summer boot um so you know yeah. you definitely want to look at the rest of their range if you're wanting a summer boot these go down to minus 40 degrees and they keep <laughs> you warm and toasty um, and at the moment I have no other Wellington yeah. boots well I do but that are not leaking or you know <laughs> that are not cracked and and uh, in pieces so these are the only good condition Wellington boots I have so I am actually having to wear them at the moment and yeah it's getting really really hot yeah. really really quickly but you know it's very unusual for us to have you know heat these kind of temperatures right. in the UK um, you know most of our summers are kind of like 23 celsius um, and i can see myself wearing this very comfortably kind of up to maybe like 15 celsius like that kind of point yeah um so in the winter and what well, autumn winter spring which is you know three quarters yeah, of the exactly. year this is going to be fantastic I think so. they're kind of matte um, it, there's no shine on them and I think that that's really important because you know you find um, other mm. boots like more kind of you know kind of your kind of high street uh, Wellington boots they typically don't have very mm. good tread um, they typically are very very shiny and glossy and that means that most of the time they've had like a gloss laminate like a yeah. plastic laminate that's been put over it and it's that, that uh, clear plastic shiny laminate that ends up bubbling in the heat cracking um, just really horrible wear and tear Definitely. on it and these do not have that you know you can actually you can actually see that there is absolutely no coating on this this you know what you can see is actually the material itself mm. um, and I think that's really good because then that's yeah. just one less thing to go wrong and I think that they will really wear well the neoprene um, when I first saw it it I wouldn't say it looks thin but it doesn't look as chunky as I've seen in other yeah, boots true. and so I was kind of thinking like is this going to be as warm as they're claiming? But it is, they are warm boots. They are really, really warm boots. But maybe it's the combination of the neoprene and the polyurethane acting together that Good actually point. does create Good point. that really warm, snug environment inside the boot itself. And I think that, you know, all these lines here on the boot, you know, when you first unpack it, you just think, oh, you know, that's cool. <laughs> you know, some kind of uh, funky design. Yeah. You When you start to wear them, you actually start to realize that that is actually not just, you know, them being aesthetically pleasing or being cool and stylish. They are actually in a very, very clever places. Increased they're actually, lines. yeah, they're actually increased points. Um, so it's actually very, very clever. And I think they're, they're a great pair of boots. I think that I would definitely recommend them um, to somebody who needs a decent pair of yeah. boots in a, in a kind of agricultural or country setting. And you did two projects that I was actually, I was watching quite carefully as to how the boot was going to perform. One, you were on the bank by the pond clearing step out, which is a very steep incline. Um, and it's the, the actual soil itself gives way quite quickly yeah. uh, and your footing at no point in time that it looked like you were going to slip you had really really great traction yeah um, and the other project you actually went up the ladder to clear our gutters or to actually cut some ivy I think actually it was ivy cutting yeah I did both and um, I remember that I was watching uh, the actual heel uh, because it's it's quite uh, it's quite high set from the actual sole itself 
So it actually clipped into the actual rungs of the ladder quite quite comfortably. Yeah. Uh, and you look very secure in, in both of those. Yeah, there is definitely a heel on it. And that heel, as you said, is really, really good for those kind of situations yeah. where you do have to climb on things. You know, I'm not going to be jumping on my horse and horse riding in them <laughs> because we don't have a horse. But, you know, you do have that heel. And in those yeah. situations, you know, when you're in a stirrup or on a ladder or something, it's True. that that really gives you your security and your safety. Yeah. So, yeah, I really appreciate that. You said that there was also a different color in these. So this is the, I mean, you, you're more of a color person, so you, you actually like the color of I these. I really like the black. I think it's really smart. I mean, I think maybe it's just because we're kind of, you know, uh, country bumpkins now yeah. and you know we're kind of we've gone through lots of wellington yeah. boots and we see lots of wellington boots and because you know that's really part of our lifestyle i'm kind of a bit over the kind of khaki green yeah. um now I, it's nice because it does blend into yeah, the environment but you know for me especially when we're filming you know we kind of want to look a bit smarter yeah. and you know we do have a lot of our, our gardening gear is it's black, black yeah. um so to have nice black boots it just it just makes you feel a little bit <laughs> you know, smarter and, cool. you know, put together. So I really, I do really like the black. Color wise, they do a, a safety boot, uh, also in the Alpha Trace range. I think if memory serves me correctly, it's it's quite a high visibility orange color. Wow. Uh, so it will, it does stand out. It will be quite prominent in certain settings. Yeah. So if, if you're scared, maybe if you are walking uh, along lanes uh, where, you know, you, you want to stand out. Yeah. Uh, I think that that particular color might actually work quite well. Or if you're just a little bit wacky and like some brighter colors. Yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that that could also work as a fashion statement. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think that definitely when you you want to be high vis and you know yeah. traffic situations, roads, and you you know walking the dog, that kind of thing. Especially you know if if it's twilight or getting dark, you know those boots like that are really important yeah. and I think that's really great that you have that option. Definitely. Overall, I w I'm really interested in Decamar now as a brand. I think that they they have good boots. I'd be interested to try more I'm of their I'm very impressed with these range. boots. Um, they've got, they do, I do think they have, they've got quite a lot of different boots for different settings. Yeah. So they have like... Um, and different industries. A lot of different industries, so yeah. I know that they've got a, a food processing one. So you know, you often see these documentaries where people are in uh, commercial kitchens or whatever it is yeah, where, where they are spraying down a lot of water yeah uh you know they, they've got a range for that so they're a very interesting company as you said that seems to be doing very specialized boots yeah um and yeah i'm i'm kind of sold on these they do look stylish and they do look smart mm -hmm. um but for us we are definitely looking for more functionality than yeah, we are definitely. fashion statement um but you know even still at least they're still nicely designed and mm -hmm. aesthetically pleasing definitely. they look good so yeah, I really like them. The real test is going to be how they perform over the course of the next year or so. Uh, so what we do with these kind of reviews is that we will do regular updates on our blog yeah. uh, that will basically show the wear and tear of the actual boot. Yeah. And fingers crossed, you know, we are going to have these boots for a few years to come. Yeah, because we've only had them in the summer and like, we can say that now uh, in this extreme heat yeah. they're, they're they're fine they're not cracking they don't you know, feel like they're getting brittle or not at all. crispy they still feel just as soft and um as durable and mm -hmm. as pliable as they did when we first got them Definitely. um but you know let's see what they're like in the deep winter right. you know that's going to be when we actually start to put them to the test more in the in the deep winter so we'll keep everybody posted so a huge thank you to dickamar for sending us out these boots uh we really appreciate it guys uh, and thank you very much for thinking of Definitely. us I hope that you have found this video useful and interesting. And if you want to see these boots in action, we are we do have an Instagram channel. Yeah. We post every day, and you know I'm sure. Well, we this, these are my only boots, so if You'll I'm see them prominently. if I'm going to be out gardening or if I'm going to be out doing anything, yeah, you, know, you will see them in clips and videos and photos and things like that. So if you want to see the latest these in action, then you know head over to our Instagram channel um, or you know our blog for other updates as well. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button below. Give us a thumbs up Please. and we'll see you on our next video. Bye bye.